Okay, everybody, hello and welcome back. We are going into a new dungeon today, and I probably won't show much of it. It's down here in this one, right? And, yep, that would be it. Um, hmm. Go right for judgment, left to the labyrinth. Well, let's check out the labyrinth and see what we got here. <laughs> I can't really be dramatic in this. Oh, no. And here we are at the bottom of the labyrinth. I skipped it. There's a ton of floors, guys. Look, 22 floors. I wasn't going to bore you with details. Besides, this is a barrier room anyway. I can't explore this floor. But I'll show you some monsters. Ag devils and uh, monster slimes, or whatever they're called. Um... We'll find out in a second when I blaze more you know, rock slimes, yeah. Uh, I guess they're classified as slimes still. And so if I ever need Ag Devils for the circular breeding, I can come here and get them. If I was really crazy, well, not crazy, if I was just um, obsessive about grinding the best, I would grab Ag Devils here, get an Ag Devil plus 20, and then cross him and get my freaking um, Arch Demon up higher pluses and stuff. Um, but I'm not that crazy. I do wish I still had my antidote spell. Um, okay, we're back at Dragon Warrior 6 music. Sadly. Oh, over a thousand. That's the highest numerical value I've had. I'm full on inventory, though, so I'm going to ditch some Sky Bells. I, I know they cure confusion. Well, I can just delete this rib, too. I probably should, instead of bringing Love Waters, I should bring more antidotes. Warp Staff, Elf Water, Laurels for Curse Off. I have the spell Curse Off, though, so Laurel isn't um, as impressive to me as it could be. Uh, warp Wings are always good, though. Let's see. I have space now. Let's see what's in this chest. If it's a Mimic, I'll be happy. <clears throat> yes, it is a Mimic. Let's throw a Sirloin at it. Um, again, it's probably, it's probably good to have some high-level Mimics if you want to breed with Materia, because when you capture them, they're in the high 30s. And that's always fun. That way you don't have to grind up a high-level material class. And if I want to do circular breeding, I'll have some on hand. Uh, I probably don't need this guy at all. But I'll throw a sirloin or two at his ass, and, and we'll see what goes on from there. I know, I know, my first item's always a sirloin, but, but nothing happens. Yeah. Oh, level 27. Yeah, I've gained some levels in this dungeon. Um, he doesn't join me. Uh, serves me right, I suppose always give myself a sirloin, but it does happen every once in a while. You grab the Mimic. I've had a few opportunities, and I've only taken one of them. I think I'll take another one later. But that's a good strategy, uh, since you don't find that many Mimics. They're not, like, super impossible to find, but they are a rare occurrence. You know, every time you see a chest, you have a chance. I did notice that if you see an item laying on the ground, uh, the RNG doesn't decide what it is until you step over it. It'll be in its, its proper category, but it won't be the exact item. Uh, at least that's what I've noticed with with gold. I saved stated before I stepped over some gold, and then stepped over it, and it was a certain amount of money, and then I loaded the state, stepped over it again, and it was fluctuating how much money it was, and that leads me to believe that uh, it will decide when you step on it, uh, the quantity or type within its category. Haven't tried it with stabs. Um, we could try it here, uh, for people who are curious. It's always, with emulators, you always get this extra bit of information you normally wouldn't get when you play the game regular, And that's how the RNG seeds its numbers each time. Uh, it, that is the stuff that interests me the most. Seven Saga was a disappointing discovery when I found out how it seeds its RNGs. Um, before each round of combat, its RNG seed has been selected. So if you're, if you're going to miss an attack, you're going to miss an attack. I didn't quite like that. It took a lot of the mystery out of it. But then again, of course, it took you being a cheap little bastard out of it, too. But with someone like me, who's done nothing but, like, who killed Seven Saga, to the, is, I buried the game. I knew everything about it, like I said before, so... Finding fun ways to play the game, that's what Game Genie really is about. That's why, the, that's why Galoob invented it. Um, you could argue that it was just to make impossible games beatable, like Silver Surfer. Uh, that's true. The commercial, though, did... Um, throw the plug out there that uh, play them like new with Game Genie. Um, a lot of people, a lot of adults didn't think it was fair. A lot of kids went apeshit over it. I thought it was a mixed bag. Uh, I did get a Game Genie, 
it came with its code book, and then it came with a supplement code book. So there were there were two code books in in the in the box. The regular red um, um, plastic back one, and then a paperback, a, a total paperback that it was black and white, uh, gray shaded print, so cheaper print, and it had extended codes. Um, but there were more codes that those two manuals didn't have. And thanks to the internet and the mid and late 90s, we found quite a few Game Genie codes. Um, I think you had to subscribe to get updated lists every few months mailed to you. Where the hell is the hole? I went up, I went down. I, I'm lost. I, I think I've, I've made two complete circles here. and I'm just going to go to the right. I think I might have missed a chamber. That's okay, I'm still getting EXP. I, I can't complain too much. Well, I've already been down, <clears throat> so that's not going to happen. I hate when you get lost. You just you missed an exit, and now uh, you don't know where it is. Uh, I probably missed it somewhere. If I don't actually have to explore, I have a warp staff. Yay! Let's find out where the fuck this was. Really? It was over here. Okay, I got I got to figure out how it joins. Oh. Well, how about that? We're handicapped. We gotta go the whole length of this, though. And... Oh yeah, there's still one more room. I don't want the meat. Then again, if you're playing this game 100% legit, of course you want the meat. Let's go ahead and get your monster's wild score down for a boss fight. Oops. I went up too far. That's okay. More EXP for me. Uh, three levels on King Leo, and I believe one level on White King. He levels up way too slow for my taste. Maybe he levels up faster with more pluses? I don't have any comparison for that. Like having a White King no pluses and then a White King plus 10 and see their differences. That would be something to do, but I can't I can't use Warp Staff. I just used one, but I can't use Game Genie to hack inventory. Um, I mean hack monsters. I can hack inventory. I can't. I can't throw out new monsters in my list. I'd have to actually go recruit them. And that's fine, I suppose. Some challenge is still left in the game, even with codes. <laughs> Don't do codes, bro. Don't do codes. He, he's got Infermost. Yeah, and, oh, but White Kings do have impressive resistances to spells. And that makes me happy. I wish there was something... If you go to Info on a monster, I really wish it would show you its resistances. But it doesn't. Uh, the fact I have on Game Facts shows me the resistances. And I don't know if resistances compile when you breed. So if you get if you had a, a one resistance and then a two resistance, if it would be a three resistance, or if you would just get the higher of the two, a number two. Yes, insert poo joke here. I would like to know these things too. Information that is important to breeding is not in this game. And something you'd have to pen and paper it. I don't know for sure. Um, I don't like that. This is a dungeon that I haven't... I already killed the boss here? To be honest, guys, I don't remember coming down here and killing the boss. Um... No, I don't. I, I did not come to the bottom of this dungeon yet. I it was still swirling, you guys saw. Um... Maybe he's invisible. Maybe the portal itself. Maybe the portal itself is a boss. Ugh. Or maybe this is a warp to the boss. Give the courageous master Zen the power of great tree. For Zen's safe journey, I'll give you a piece of weed. Um, is that it? Am I done with that dungeon? Uh, it was disappointing. No, look, it's still swirling. Look! Look! Um... Yeah, yeah, uh, go to the labyrinth. Well, you know what? That's what the power save states were for, you asshole. Maybe there's some... Maybe there's some some thing here you have to go... Didn't they say go north three times? Two... Three, then go left. And then go down two, and then left. This is the kind of shit you gotta dig in your ass to find. Or was it right after this point? Oh! Hey! 
There's also a chest. I want to get the chest. Um, well, I found my way through here, but let's go to the right first and see if that chest is anything important. I just save state. And look, there's that dude over there. You can talk to him. Now I'm here again. So, one, two. I know, I'm just counting. God damn, this is so... It's boring watching. This is no monsters here. That's what I gotta be thankful for, right? Alright. And go down two. And I'm guessing from here you can go left or right. So if I go right, I might get to the chest, right? No. Okay. Well, I don't want to go through that again. Let's just kill the boss. Obleet, obleet, obleet. I can't believe that you made it here. I should recognize your effort. But this is a dead end. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look out, Darkhorn. Eh, Darkhorn. Plan, command. Uh-huh. Uh, is he a devil? I wish you could tell what type of monster they are without having to consult consort facts. Uh, let's see. Blazemore, heal all, boom, curse off, vivify, bird blow. Is he a bird? Or, I mean, I don't know. He looks... He doesn't look like a bird. Um... It could be a beast. Ah, barrier. Yeah. I should have used the staff, though. Or, stop spell. Hold on a second. Uh... You have stop spell. Don't you? Uh, no, somebody does. Oh, yeah, white knight should have it. Alright, alright. Let's do Devil Cut, and... Let's do... Mmm... Let's do an attack and see how much damage that is. Uh, let's see, skill... No stop spell? Maybe I just missed it. Maybe middle dude has stop spell. No? It's gotta be him. Am, am I missing it? Oh, it's at the very top. No wonder I'm missing it. Because, you know, you do that. You miss stuff. When you're, when you're trying to find it, you'll just overlook it completely. Uh, heal more, infer more, zap, nap attack. Hey, let's see if that works. Has no effect on Darkhorn. 68 damage, and he dodged my sleep attack. My spells are suspended. You know what? I'm pissed now. I was supposed to do that. Well, my spells are suspended, but are my skills suspended? Yes, because skills are spells. There's no distinction between them. Time to charge, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm stop spelled so I can't hustle anymore. I have to rely on my waters. Uh, so White Knight jumps up on him and does damage to himself as well. I should probably win this. I have enough waters. Yeah. Sleep all. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Ha ha. White Knight's probably not gonna fall asleep. He's got good resistances to that. He jumps on Darkhorn and does some headbutting. And 74 damage. That's pretty impressive, actually. Alright, White Knight gets 57 damage, I will use a Love Water on him now. Try to keep on top of this because I can't hustle anymore. At least I can just count on raw damage. I got two hard hitters. That's always fun. And I did stock up, so it is useful to bring, I don't know, eight Love Waters with you. Maybe eight antidotes and everything else you find is probably just useless... Uh, let's see. I'm also useless. Like I like, I like to collect the staves, 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 staves. I like to kill. I like to collect those because those are useful, especially warp staves. Better do this. Better do this. All right. I can't. I gotta keep track of where my my damage on my own monsters are because I can just hit the button and not pay attention. And I think I'm running really close to being out of love waters. You're tapping me out, man. You're tapping me out. But it's just cool. It's cool. He keeps jumping on the guy's back, and... I don't know what he intends to do. Like, is he jump? Like, is he grabbing his horns and steering his head around? Uh, kind of like what Conker did. Okay, enough of that shit. I won. Level 16, finally. Heal more becomes heal all. Yay me. Bleep, bleep. Never imagined such a strong master. You didn't join me, though. I'd like to know if those other assholes are, are, are around there. You think that doll looks just like me? Haha, <laughs> are you listening? Let's go back. I don't... 
maybe they're just for show. Maybe you aren't ever allowed to go and, and touch those things. Oh, Zen, you beat Dark Horn. Without becoming lost in the labyrinth, you show wisdom. Ah. Uh, talk to all the people while I go pull my pud in the corner. Alright. Now we're halfway done with the episode. Okay, I probably should sell some stuff. Yay! Let's go to the shop and... I don't need to talk to you guys. You guys tell me the same stuff over and over again. I've already... Oh, I gave enough medals to the dude. He wanted 13, I gave him 14, so he gave me a bird egg of some kind. I wasn't really paying attention. This is the Village of Great Tree. Yes. I could go to the arena, probably. Um, let's do that. Let's stock up on some goodies and go to the arena. It'll cost 10000 to go to rank A, I believe. I'm not looking forward to that. My guys aren't... Oh, why did I come in here? It's a storage. Well, if I wanted to not be a safe stater scummer, I could deposit my gold in there. But I'm going to be cool. I'm just going to sell some crap. Uh, I have herb? Yes, I do. Let's sell elf water. I like them, but they bring me loot, so I'll deal without love water. Oh. Let's sell the sky bell. It doesn't sell for that much. Ribs sell for quite a lot. And I'm not going to sell the sirloin because I have infinite sirloin, so that would just give me infinite money, and I... I do still have some standards, guys. I do. I'm not going to cheap my way out of this. How many love waters do I have? Only two? Well, I will buy more. I'll buy six more. There we go. Now I have eight. And then there, and then there were none. Oh, didn't I want antidotes? Yes. I did want antidotes. I'll take six. Well, that's 14, 15. Inventory's getting full. There's no bag. They didn't introduce the bag until... I want to say Dragon Warrior 7. There wasn't a bag in any of the Dragon Warrior game until 7. At least in the American release. If they had a bag... They did have a bag in the um, PlayStation remakes of games, but not the way they were originally released. 7 was the first original release that had one. But you still couldn't access it from combat, just like you could access the bag in Final Fantasy games from combat. Alright, before we go in... Time to save it up on slot three. Welcome. Uh, time to do S, because I've done every other rank. Are you okay with registering S class? Yeah, here's my ten grand. I'll, let me go in and get my ass kicked. <laughs> Why not, right? My monsters aren't horrible, but I probably should level them up ten more levels. Uh, are those dancing veggies? Oh. I fucking hated those, and, and yes, they are. All right, now all we can do is indirect. Um, charge mixed. I'm not sure about cautious or mixed. He might do sleep attack with mixed, so let's try it. Dancing veggie. I'll do rain slash. That's good for him because of his strength. And boom is is good. He might throw out um, bolt or zap. I'm hoping that like one of those spells turn into Thoridian, but Thoridian might be its own lightning spell. Oh, he was trying to do sleep attack, I know it. Alright, let's do one more round this way before I change up to healing. One damage. Maybe their attacks are dance attacks. And then they'll, they'll make you dance, just like sleep or anything. It's good to have resistances to dance. Alright. Oh, you're dead. Oh, yeah. That was a relatively easy round, but it probably could have gone a lot worse. Oh, two, a Drac... <laughs> These are low-level monsters, but definitely they probably were like plus 20. Let's not underestimate them. I was going to do that, guys, with just these like crappy monsters just keep breeding them with themselves and get stronger and stronger. Of course, they wouldn't have skills that way, but whatever, right? Uh, fight. I can survive one round on my own. So he has Firebolt. Youch! Alright, it's time to do the hustle. And I can do that with defensive. Oh no, that was my ticket. Sleep all. Alright. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Well, at least he throws out his really powerful... And sleep all is bullshit. Okay, plan. Cautious. Just heal somebody. You have heal all. Throw it on Kim. No, throw it on yourself. Holy shit, you're dead. Yeah, um... We're screwed. Just because he's sleeping us. If, if, that's all it is. Sleep. Uh, yeah, I'm screwed. But I safe stated, so... Uh, you have Vivify, but you're the only one who has it. 
plan. Cautious. Slime attacks. 57 damage. I'm not going to waste 10 grand on re-registering. That's stupid. Oops. Wrong one. Wrong one. Here we go. Let's try this again. Yeah, there's no... I mean, yeah, you can run, but then you have to pay the admission fee again. I'm not going to do that. And I know. I know I could easily get it back. But that's not the point. I'll show this because I'm only at the 20-minute mark. Um, we did prove that these guys are relatively easy to kill, but then again, if he throws in some bullshit moves, it could probably be a lot worse. Alright. Let's just uh, plan it out to be charge. Uh-huh. Oh, okay, there we go. I thought I was going to say he started dancing. <laughs> Alright. Maybe I'll get lucky and he won't throw sleep at me in the next combat round. We've seen that I can kick these guys' ass. No big deal. Uh, defense. Yeah, that could be a problem. Night. Sleep attack. That's what I was hoping, but his attack missed last time on, on round two. It is all largely the uh, offspring of luck. Yes. Alright. I think he's gonna die. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> yep, yep's from Sesame Street. Yeah, everyone knows those guys. Hey, hey, look at me. The basics, man. Back to basics. Alright. Uh, plan. You can be, you can be charged. Mm, you can be cautious. And you can be mixed. Radiant uplines you. Yep. And with an accuracy of 38%, you might just miss. Heal all. Yay! That's what I was trying for. Uh-huh. Oh, great. He's asleep. Um, plan. Charge and mix. Fireball. It's not what I wanted. That's what I want. Multi-attacks that are powerful. Oh, slime misses. Undamaged. God damn it. Alright, don't attack. Alright, there we go. Now, Kim, you can be on defensive because your hustle is something I extremely need at this moment in time. Alright, plan. Cautious. Uh, we're all awake, but that could change. Let's do charge for you and cautious for you. Oh, <laughs> okay. I thought you had resistance as White Knight. Oh, sorry, um, White King. You gonna vivify? No, you're gonna boom. That's not what I wanted. At least he has vivify. Somebody die, please. Oh, boy. Cautious, cautious. Oh, this is bullshit. I call bullshit. I call bull I call biggest back on bullshit. I call bullshit. I call bullshit. I can fucking call bullshit. Yes, I'm gonna pout. I'm gonna totally fucking pout. Alright. And we get one more on the belt notch of the art dead. I'll see you in a minute. Now that's what I'm talking about. Now this bullshit sleep. Alright. Yay, and no, I didn't save scum the every round. You know, I just didn't get put to sleep. Well, I mean, I got put to sleep. Oh, I gotta fight Metal Man? He's in this, Frankos? Alright, that's new. We'll see, we'll see what you got, Metal Man. First, I'm going to do a part two state. Oh, of course, he's got Rob Robster and the Metal Babble. That's not gonna go so well. What means about, not about luck, it's about ability. I'm a little bit envious. Yeah, well, why don't you go f represent the damn thing instead of me, a five-year-old? Alright. If I do cautious, and then I do charge, and then I do mix, this might work. Explode at is not going to go so well for us. Neither is rain slash, and I got all bullshitted right away. Total bullshitted. Hey, the slime goes in an all-out rage, or whoever did. And it just totally ruined my day. That's going to be all about luck. If he attacks the himself and kills the babble, that would be fine, but I'm screwed, so I'm probably not going to show the rest of this battle, I'll see you in a second. Now that's what I'm talking about, that metal dragon to the right, he attacks in all out rages, and he attacked in all out rage and killed the metal babble, and then we fought the robster and him, and then he attacked in all out rage and killed himself. Um, that's the type of randomness that y you have to rely on, because he was doing 250 damage. What was I supposed to do? Spend 19 more hours grinding until I have 500 hit points for my monsters? That's not fun. Yeah, I mean, I lost a guy, sure, but I won this combat. I'm sorry, but I don't, I don't think it's fun when you have to grind that much. All because of a bullshit move. Yeah. 
Give a round of applause. Now, of course, if you were playing this normal for the Game Boy Color, you'd have to do that. So, get to grinding, assholes. Welcome to Dragon Warrior Monsters. Uh, now you're a master, a representative of Great Tree. Again, Metal Man should have been your representative with his bullshit team. That would have been fine. But no, the kid has to be. See, where's the logic in this? Where's the lot? There's none. The king is like, uh, I've got a really good master representative, master metal man, and I got this kid who comes around. Bullshit. Yeah. The king doesn't need me. He just wants to go soil his drawers again. Ugh. I've waited for this day. I bet. You can use all the rooms in the Chamber of Traveler's Gates. Oh my. Is that the one from Dead Tree? No, he's from Great Log. How are you, Great Tree King? Is there any master who was able to survive S-Class? Yeah, Metal Man. Jeez. Oh, Don't be silly. You're sarcastic as always. Uh, I'm standing next to a kid, huh? Oh, I didn't notice. Huh. I thought he was the janitor. Yeah, good one. You've already heard about the Monster Master of my kingdom. Ha ha ha. Rumor has it that Eric's the strong master, and he's just basically all full of his stuff. Get used to losing. Ha ha ha, I look forward to the tournament. Ha ha ha, ha ha, ha ha ha. I think he's a cross between a fang slime and a dillweed. What do you think? Yeah. He's a dickweed vampire. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I kill me sometimes. Um... I'm not really strong, I just try to avoid the bullshit moves, guys. So don't, you know, don't inflate my ego. There's still time, why not go behind the Gate of Reflection? I heard you can meet your future self there. I'd rather not. Uh, all I have to do is stand in front of a mirror and drink milk and I'll see my future self, dude. Yeah. Now go check out your bone. Ah, I can't stop. I, I totally can't stop. That's my... Oh, great, now we get another cutscene. The tree's gonna grow again, isn't it? Quake, quake, quake. So I'm gonna get... The shop is probably going to come back into existence, the one that was sectioned off. That's gonna come back, and finally he's gonna sell me stuff. And he only sells to high-class people. I assume Great Tree is encouraging you, too. Go to the chambers of reflection and reflect on yourself. Yeah. The game would expect you to just, like, crossbreed your monsters a million, billion, billion, billion times throw out some fake numbers that don't exist, like a zillion. Uh, anyway, let's go check out the guy's shop and call it an episode. <laughs> uh, I'm losing my enthusiasm for this game because it's all the same. It's all samey, samey, samey. Um, then again, what do you expect? It's a dungeon game. Oh, look, he's back. Let's see what this guy has to say. Oh, joy, starry night. It seems the merchant has turned over a new leaf. I don't know about the books these guys are selling. I'm cool. Something about having... A good personality. If he's selling hot-blooded, that'd be fine. I'm lonely, I can't stand it. I won't be picky about customers. I've changed! Well... Be nice. Cheater. Horror. Quest book. Smart book. Comedy. Alright, tell me about these stupid personalities. Can I get hot-blooded from them? Alright. Having a monster read a quest book makes them brave. So, hold on. Apparently you can do Be Nice Quest and then Smart Book. Give them all three to a monster and he'll become hot-blooded. Well, I'm not sure if that's true, but... Be Nice. Cheater Book makes them cold. Smart makes them think hard. But it might not work well with only one try. Yeah, if, if, if it fails, keep doing Smart Books. Let's find how much money it would cost. Well, they're 5,000 apiece. So, apparently, you need quest... Well, you need be nice, then quest, and then smart. So, 15,000. So, if I check my personalities... Um... Ordinary, Lone Wolf, and Rebel. Uh... It's gonna cost me 45,000 to get all my personalities up to hot blood Or more, if I have to buy more... Books of intelligence afterwards. But at least now I know I can get hot-blooded. I actually have a monster who is hot-blooded. I can't remember which one. He just started that way. And it's the best personality, apparently. Two hot-bloods together should make another hot-blood. Um, at least my slimes, they were all cowardly. So when I bred my white king with him, he became lone wolf. Uh, or she, sorry. Or at least I 
have an idea of what to do with personality books now. Yay, me! Are there any other areas that opened up in here? No, the bigger beef shop is to the right, and... He's the normal shop, and now I have book shops. Okay. Maybe I'll go into a dungeon and pick out some gold and come back when I have um, 45,000 gold. So that's it for this episode, guys. I'll do a little bit of grinding probably off camera. Um, let me know if there's any breeding things. Like, I want to keep these three, but I don't really know if I want to go through the circle of circle breeding them. Um, I only need like one monster to take them down to a peg and then another monster to bring them back to this peg. Uh, but I might have to breed to get the monster to take them to a different peg so I get antidote because that's the only thing I'm really gimped on. Other than that, alright, thanks for watching.